when I first saw the paintings, um, my immediate thought is that they should be in a museum somewhere. I saw it as an amazing tool to try and instill First Nations pride. The project began in 2008 when the family of Mr. Robert Aller, who was a volunteer art teacher at the Alberni Indian Residential School, donated a collection of paintings he'd saved from his classes that he taught between 1958 and 1964. I started off with this project. Um, Andrea hired me as a research assistant uh, to help out with the paintings and the documentary material as we were trying to understand what we had and uh, that led on to other projects and uh, later went on a trip uh, to Ottawa with 14 survivors in Andrea uh, to uh, engage with the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. I think Mr. Aller kept the paintings because he had a very high level respect for the children and really valued the content that they were putting into their paintings and he believed that if other people saw these paintings they would understand the children differently. Of, you know, having an institution uh, do this and, and uh, finding out uh, that the person who was leading it was really sensitive and understanding of, our, of their situation and was being really careful and respectful and understood the protocol of our, our communities. I see the pain in the picture, but I also see the wonderful talent that they have had as young children before they were taught to forget. The things that they remember and were able to put on paper was quite amazing to me. It, it was hard to, to look at. That's this painting here behind me. And um, they asked me what it represented. And I told them it's the beach where I grew up in Kildonan. Um, and I left out all the houses on, on the reserve because I knew what happened in those homes. My hope for this project is that through the exhibition of the children's artwork, that we might understand the history of residential schools differently through the marks and the eyes of the children who created the artworks. I'm glad that they gave it back to us because it preserved that it preserved that experience and it helped to confirm that it was real. And it gave strength to the individuals who'd done the paintings. It gave more strength, they had more support, more families stood up with them. I really feel that talking about it has helped me in my healing process as well. I would like to go forward to uh, work with collections and repatriation and collaborating with communities to uh, pursue a relationship that is counter to the colonial relationship that has defined that and uh, that is more just. I, I've just learned so much from them in terms of what reciprocity can mean in terms of pure human resilience and uh, and that's given me huge inspiration for the possibility of relationships that I can have and for what I the sort of human I can be. <laughs>